Hey guys, it's J19, brought to you another video, and today we're going to take a little deep dive into God of War Ragnarok, and uh, some information has popped up. Um, somebody posted the description, product description of God of War Ragnarok, and by the way, if you guys want more God of War Ragnarok news, reactions, and whatnot, so forth, feel free to like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification so they know if I want to go live or upload my next video. And with that said, let's uh, zoom in, let's uh, read this together. Uh, fight to divine, to defend the nine realms. Embark on an epic, heartfelt journey as Kratos and Atreus struggle with holding on and letting go. A couple of years has passed since uh, Fimbrough Bull Winter began. Oh, before we read this, um, if you guys don't want to be spoiled, I would recommend you guys not watching this. So, spoiler warning from here on out. Um, this is exciting stuff. I am really hype. Uh, Pre-orders do go live for the United States. Uh, North America at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, Australia, by the way, has already sold out of the the Ultimate Collector's Edition. Um, so, yeah, get ready. Um, let's get right into this. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, the cold continues to bite throughout the realm of Midgar. Kratos and Atreus do their best to stay hidden, having tried to undo the approaching end times. Every day they train for the inevitable while seeking any possible means to change the course of fate. Kratos and Atreus do their best to stay hidden, having tried to undo the approaching end times. Every day they train... Okay, never mind. Um... Oh, I read all that. <laughs> okay. Atreus seeks to further understand the clues left behind by his mother and piece together his prophecy, prophesied role in the coming war. Meanwhile, Kratos struggles with his son's desire to uncover more about his identity, knowing it will draw them towards the eventual Ezer. If that happens, they'll even closer to repeating the bloody mistakes of the past. Together, father and son venture deep into the Nine Realms. Well, as guardian forces prepare for war. Along the way, they will explore stunning, mythical landscapes and face fearsome enemies in the form of Norse gods and monsters. That's exciting. That's really exciting, folks. Um, I'm really glad that somebody found this up and posted it, and I decided to cover it on my video here. Let's continue. As the threat of riding around grows ever closer, Kratos and Atreus find themselves faced with a choice between their own safety or the safety of the realms. Interesting. That's a very interesting uh, story. A um, little description of the story. We got a lot of uh, a lot of deep information what what Atreus and Kratos are going to be going through. Like this seems like it's going to be even better than God of War 2018. I'm really hyped, excited. Um, let's continue. Okay, the futures, uh, those who break fate. Atreus hungers for knowledge to help him understand the prophecy of Loki and the role he has he has to play in Ragnarok. Kratos must decide whether he will be chained by the fear of repeating his mistakes or break free of his past to be the father Atreus needs. Which, that's going to be awesome to see them like go in depth, uh, de detailed depth, um, characterizations between that. I can't wait. Okay, weapons of war. The Leviathan Axe, Blaze of Chaos, and Guardian Shield return alongside a host of new abilities for both Kratos and Atreus. Awesome. Awesome. I can't wait. As they take on foes throughout the Nine Realms, Kratos' deadly skills will be tested like never before as he fights to protect his family. Explore the Realms. Journey to dangerous studying landscapes while facing a wide variety of new en uh, enemy creatures, monsters, Norse gods, as Kratos and Atreus search for answers and allies. This is amazing stuff right here. Okay. PS5 in-game features. Do sense wireless control. This, this part right here really gets me excited. Um, I can't wait. Because I'm getting this for PS5. Do sense wireless control integra uh, integration. Feel free, feel your journey through the Norse realms made possible by the immersive haptic feedback and adaptive triggers functionality. Oh my goodness, that sounds so dreamy. 
Stunning visual. Switching switch between full 4K resolution as a as a target is 6, 30 frames per second, or a dynamic resolution upscale to 4K at at a targeted 60 FPS, which sounds pretty freaking cool. Uh, Bass in the beautiful worlds you travel through, brought to life by stunning art direction, uh, arresting attention to detail. Behold an enchanted. Enhanced reflections, lighting and shadows, as well as increased geometric detail and enhanced deformable snow. Ooh. Ooh, man, that sounds so sick. Fully optimized for 3D audio. Um, immerse yourself in a unique soundscape of the nine realms as sounds reverberate and echo throughout the environment. Use, high, use highly accurate spatial our audio to hear enemies approaching from any direction, including above and below you. That's that's awesome. Of course, I felt that in 3D audio before. Fast loading via SSD. Return to the action faster than ever. The PS5 console's high speed SSD won't leave you waiting long to resurrect from death. Um, and we're down to the last bit. Uh, enjoy short and low times from in-game checkpoints at one fast traveling. So there you go, guys. There's the, uh, there's the information we have. Um, I'm going to show you guys another screen. And we're back. Um, we got the God of War Launch Edition. We got the God of War Collector Edition and God of War Yontar Edition. Um... As you can guess here, uh, the stand launch edition is fifty nine nine nine. PS four get PS five sixty nine 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 five dollar deposit. I don't know. Somebody sent me a screenshot of this, but I decided to share this guys with you. We'll just do the price point, not the deposit part. Um, of course, you get Kratos and Atreus Risen Snow armor and tunic, and then I'm not gonna read every single thing, but you got the God of War Collector Edition. It's $199.99 for PS4 and PS5. And just so you know, it is not a... There's no physical game for these special these collector editions, just so you know. And the final one is the Yontar edition, which is $259.99 for PS4 and PS5. So, there you have it, guys. Um, what a What a fantastic information we got. Just hours. Well, I should say it, less than a day before pre-orders go live for me, um, and among other us. So yeah, um, that's really awesome. I can't wait. And uh, with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all this the price point, and also all the uh, wonderful product description we have just been shown. So. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what your feedbacks are. If you guys want more, God of War, Red and Night News, updates, trailers, streams, whatnot, feel free to like, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification to stay notified when I go live or upload my next video. With that said, hope you guys have, uh, have a safe one out there. Be nice to each other. I'll have links in the description below my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Feel free to give me a follow on both of those. Join Discord, and we can uh, talk more about God of War, Red and Rock. So with that said... I'll talk to you guys in the next one. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for love and support as always. And let's crank up the sub count to 1,000. I know you guys want to support me. And I appreciate it a ton for those who have. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.